Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to Gemini Soul, guys. I hope you guys are all doing lovely. This may not resonate with all of you guys, but if it do, I ask that you just support me by giving a thumbs up. If you don't want to share your message and what you're going through below, that is okay. I just love you guys showing up and the energies being here for me. You Geminis be coming through. So I hope you guys are enjoying the messages that I'm giving you, that there's some guidance in there for you. Okay, so I know I got my whole little setup, guys, because sometimes I'm just drawn back. Sometimes energy catches you better in other spaces and areas, and you just got to go with the flow, okay? So if y'all like me doing them in different areas, I ain't really got two right now, but I really go back and forth, then definitely give me a thumbs up too, right? Because it's like a time to change up the energy. So this reading we're about to do now is what you don't see coming, Gemini. We're about to see what you don't see coming. So the first question, what is it, Gemini? What's coming? What is it that you don't see coming? What is it that you don't see coming, Gemini? What is it? Getting over some type of hurt and pain, deception, lying, emotional loss. That's what you don't see coming towards you. So if you're in a spot or feeling lost or you've been working through things, then this is, a, and it was an emotional loss, could have been deception, could have been lies, anything. But the point is, this 10 is it's over with. What you don't see coming, that something that hurt you, deceiving, lying, either way, if it was within something that hurt within you, and this don't always mean relationships. Family members can hurt you too, you know? Friends, situation didn't work out right at work, in jobs, anything, any kind of connection. Whatever connection that made you feel broke down, deceived, some dishonest, didn't work out, wasn't the didn't turn out to be the dream you wanted. This is what you don't see coming that you're about to get over it. That it's done. You're done dealing with it, okay? Why did this happen though? I know you wanna know, Gemini. Why did this happen for Gemini? What's coming for Gemini? Why is it coming? Ah, oh, the boom car. Gemini, this is because you didn't want to look at it. You really didn't want to see it for what it was. You might not even want to get over the hurt and pain. You might not even want this person to just move on. You didn't really want to look at the situation for what it was. You might not want to deal with it. So the universe is, you know, this is why it's got to happen. So whatever this is that may have caused you a disappointment, you didn't have all the truths and the facts. With the moon card, truths and the facts had to come out. Why? Because there, there had to be a change. What's the, what was the challenge? Oh, my goodness. Seven of Swords is in reverse. <clears throat> Gemini, the challenge is the Seven of Swords in reverse. So are you struggling with the fact of what happened? That's your ego. <laughs> You're like, I know you didn't. I know you did not sit up here and do this. It was your ego took over. <laughs> like you might have been hurt. Ten of swords. It, it, something might have turned into a shit show. I hope I don't get demonetized for saying that. But I feel like that was a shit show here. Yeah. And 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 you you seven of swords is in reverse. You like I just know you did. I know you did not. And with the moon card here is why it happened. It's because you needed to see this deception. If somebody was lying, not being honest or truthful. And your challenge was seeing that. That's in your challenge. Well, since what how's the universe supporting you? The Queen of Wands. So, and actually that Queen of Wands is in reverse, Gemini. So it could have been somebody very fired up maybe they look good smell good or whatever you didn't see that or they was dealing with an ex a girlfriend boyfriend somebody very fiery you could have been dealing with a sagittarius Aries, or a leo um this could also be a mother-in-law shoot i'm feeling like you could have had a mother-in-law and uh and your mate male or female conspiring against you Whatever this deception was, you just didn't want to really face it and look at it. For one, I know you, because 
what you had to deal with is the Ten of Swords. That means there was a lot of disappointment in something. And it could have been a, a whole marriage. I don't know. You, however, it resonates with you. But um, with this uh, Queen of Wands in reverse, you know, Queen of Wands in reverse is very manipulative. Somebody that takes control of the, of, of a situation um, and having control of it in a very deceptive way. Like the things that they say, they get what they want. It's all, this, the, the Queen of Wands in reverse is deceptive. They get what they want out of a situation, but a lot of times the way they do it is very deceptive. Like they could have been telling other people other things in regards to you. And some somebody was weak minded. They didn't clearly understand this process very well of who you were. Okay. They didn't understand. Male or female, it don't matter. Because, see, this fire don't have nothing on this air, okay? Because, see, this air will blow that fire the hell out, all right? Y'all got me acting up today, spirit. So, let's calm down, can we? I don't know, but these, this is just feeling like something got completely out of control and you getting it back in control. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, the overall for this reading... Your two of cups. Then I just say you getting it back into control. Two of cups, balance. You getting yourself back into balance. I don't know what this S show was about, but you like, you know what? <laughs> you can have it. You can have this show because I'm out. Do do you? Y'all do y'all. You know, like, and I just feel you so pissed about something. You like, I just know you didn't. I just <laughs> with this seven of swords, you like, I, I'm not gonna accept the fact. That I sit up here and let somebody dupe me. I'm not gonna sit up here and, and the fact that <laughs> why this had to happen, why I had to come out. You was in denial somewhere in another Gemini. And I don't like, oh, know, I knew it was something going on. Yeah, you knew it was something going on, but you also didn't do nothing about it. You also didn't do nothing about it. All right, let's clarify. <laughs> now, this ain't going to be for all of you. Let's see. Um, so, let's see. This Ten of Swords is in reverse. So. <sighs> this is some type of knockdown, beatdown. <laughs> you know, it's like the end. I'm done. I'm out. I'm gone. Mm, you want to put another sword? Yeah, I'm very disappointed in this situation. And getting over it, too. I mean, this situation, you're getting over quick, though. So I don't know, you know, but you getting over it really quick. Somebody even want to know the secret to it. Like, how did you, I'm hearing like, how you move on so fast? Like, you know, we was just in a relationship. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, you know, you just deceived me too, right? Okay, so when you put those both together, deceive and relationship, they just don't go together, right? So we move along quickly. We move along quickly is what I hear. Oh, my goodness. Be careful because I see a S show. Somebody acting up. Six of Pentacles. Clarifying what this was. Six of Pentacles and two of Pentacles. I swear to God, Gemini, y'all been having this. Somebody is dealing with this. You can't tell them this is not resonating with some of you, Gemini. So the reason what this is that's coming towards you. This ten, this what did this ten of swords? What was it all about? Somebody's trying to breadcrumb you, trying to give to you and other energies, and they couldn't even do it. They couldn't do it. They couldn't afford it. They shouldn't have done it. And with the moon card, it came out. That secret came out. And I'm not saying necessarily it's money. It's their energy. Somebody was trying to juggle your energy and somebody else's energy. I think you had a lot of faith in this situation, and you may have not even thought that was happening. You may not even thought that person was capable of even doing that. This is what I'm hearing. So what's happening is that in this situation that led to an end, somebody was trying to give their energies in two situations, trying to keep it balanced. And baby, they lost their balance. When they lost their balance, <laughs> you seen straight through it. Something happened, something gave in it that let you know, no, 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 you won't breadcrumb me. You might have breadcrumb others, 
but I'm not a breadcrumb of type of person acceptor. <laughs> yeah, I was acting up, Gemini. Yeah, so the Six of Pentacles. But they may have wanted to give an equal give and take in the situation, but what happened, Gemini? The problem is they was trying to juggle. They was trying to juggle the two energies, trying to get balance, maybe even trying to come up on more money to continue to do what it is that they was doing the whole long. I'm also hearing struggling between two worlds, struggling between two worlds. Now, they could have had an ex on the side or mistress, could have been children, could have been family, I don't know, addictions, anything. All I know that the Ten of Swords is you understanding that this situation wasn't balanced and it wasn't balanced enough for you. It may have been balanced enough for them. They probably thought they could keep doing this juggling game and they was going to get away. With the Ten of Swords, the, I also feel they know you're done. Ten of Swords in reverse is I'm done. I'm over it. I'm past it. Have a nice life. No, you don't got to juggle no more. I'm going to make your burden so much easier for you because now you could just go in that direction. Please be gone. Poof. <laughs> That's how I feel. You may be doing somebody, Jill, but I'm like, no, thank you. I appreciate the lesson, you know, that was learned. But I feel you still pissed off. <laughs> like, you still pissed off. You still trying to get yourself back balanced. You may have invested with the Six of Pentacles. You may have started investing in something with someone. And now you got to get yourself back balanced, right? So that's why this happening. Why is the moon card here? I do see the four cups. Somebody is definitely missing. You want to come in and make that offer again. Mm. Why is the moon card? That may be what you don't see coming to. Uh, the moon card. The moon covers the sun. The moon brings you out of the darkness to the light, honey, where you've been down and not sure and didn't have the clarity. Now you have the clarity. That's why this had to happen for you to get clarity in the situation because clearly you was juggling maybe yourself about is this the relationship that's really a give and take or that's working for you. Yeah, that's too many cards, but okay. I'm going to take the one I see, but I'm going to tell you what also came up. So, the Knight of um, Swords. So, this person is definitely coming in. <sighs> So they see you see the truth in the situation. Gemini, you are they happiness. Whatever the secret is, they hate it came out. They so pissed. They so mad. If it has something to do with other people, they cut them off. They ain't dealing with them no more. Or that it that became an S show. Yeah, it did. That's something that became an S show. They approached these people, whether it was their mama, their sister, their brother, or family, friends. I'm hearing even a best friend. They went to them like, let me tell you something. You up here messing with my happiness? <laughs> yeah, it became a show. It became a show. Anyway, it ain't your circus. Them ain't your monkeys. <laughs> okay, moving along. Yeah, and they very passionate. So we're going to put this. This is a page of ones. We're putting this page back. This person still has a lot of passion for you. You know, they may remember the good times. Um, but um, why this had to happen why this information had to come out that was hidden. The universe needed it to come out for your own happiness so that you can move on and get the clarity because you probably had been up in your head about this situation wasn't true or you just wasn't looking at it. With the moon card, subconsciously, you probably knew something wasn't right, but you just weren't looking at it. You didn't want to look at it. Not at the time. I feel you might have been busy. You could have been busy working on your dreams and finances and what's the next goal and the next beat. And you thought you had somebody there to do it with you, but they was on the side. Their energy was too busy to help you. Their energy was too busy. And the universe needed that to be seen. Yes. Six of Cups and um, the Three of Wands clarifying the challenge. So your challenge is being to just leave the situation in the past and wait for something else to come in. It's, un it's clarifying the Seven of Swords in reverse. So the Seven of Swords is reversed. They didn't really get away with it. Somebody could have had a whole family or a, a child born that you wasn't aware of. And uh, the Seven of Swords up right after that could have been what they was juggling, telling you the truth about it, telling you somebody was pregnant, telling you they had another child. Or dealing with a situation that has to do with children or past memories. They could have been going back to their ex, you know. But the thing is, they choose now with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Now, only after they got caught, Seven of Swords in reverse. 
is how the universe is supporting you for it to come out and you to for it to be seen. So now everybody wants to change their mindset on how they uh, uh, was handling this situation, right? But now a Gemini is sitting up here with the three of ones waiting for the next best thing. Because this seven of swords was, was an S show. If I say that one more time. When it did come out, it wasn't nice at all. But whatever it is was, it came out and had to do with the past. Either past relationships, uh, lies, deceiving, or something. Something emotional. This, this was a situation emotionally attached. Okay? This also could have put you in a time of remembrance of when somebody did betray you in this, in this same... You know, sometimes things look similar, right? And uh, you remember the time that uh, maybe you was in a situation and you was waiting for an opportunity, a time to uh, figure out what direction you needed to go in. Um, so you, there could have been some reflection here too. Let's see, who is this Queen of Wands in, in reverse? Who is this Queen of Wands in reverse? The Queen of Wands in reverse. So that was a, that was in your your challenge. So your challenge is letting the past go, um, not being so much in your ego, uh, Gemini, because the Seven of Swords is is released. So nobody got away with nothing. If they was trying to get away with something. They not. They like they got to go deal with their past now, and you're moving on. Okay. So that's the challenge that the universe says. Nine of Cups. Is clarifying this um, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups. Give me one more, Nine of Cups. And that's in your supportive energy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Baby, listen. Y'all cutting up, Gemini. Let me tell you how the universe is supporting you in this situation. The deception line is no longer there. The truth is out. You're moving towards your happiness. You're not waiting for these games anymore. But somebody definitely is in your energy and they're waiting on you. They want to change in you. They want to change your mind about the situation. That's going to clearly be up to you. The reason I say that because you have all the tools to decide what it is you truly want. So if whoever this is, because I told you this here and um, the supportive energy, this, is, this energy is what supported this whole breakdown. And this is a, uh, a queen of wands in reverse. And the supportive energy, how the universe is telling you, like, this energy was not empowered, okay? Um, it was manipulative. So since this energy came in towards you to be manipulative, whether this is male or female, it doesn't matter. Somebody tried to be very manipulative to you. So the universe came in to support you. And how did the universe support you? Let's get this the way it came out. Nine of Cups, the Magician, and a Page of Pentacles. This is simply saying back to independent love. I am a magician. I have all the tools to move forward, to walk away from the situation. And I'm about to start a new beginning because there's something new and creative that I've got my mind set on that I'm working on. And thank you for the lesson, but I am getting back to center, right? Gemini has always had to get back to center. And who you are, the magician. You've always had all the tools to do it, but again... You go in and you you give your cup and you have expectations sometime of having a relationship or being with someone. And when they pull this crap, they always wonder like, now Gemini won't talk to me. Now Gemini is not showing up the way Gemini, you know, go away. Just go away. Just go away. Live your life. Let me sit over here and get back and work on my wish fulfillment, right? Because the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Knowing you have all the tools you need. And maybe you got to start over. The Page of Pentacles is messages coming in. You may get a message for a bunch of... Oh, if you guys seen a creator, every time you go through this rock down bottom, what happened? This is the Page of Pentacles, but we had the Ace of Pentacles and why you was created. But here's a page. It doesn't matter. There's always a stepping stone come in because you have to be stable and get back to center. Y'all, I just, I can't make this up. If you follow me on these journeys and these messages that I be putting out there and it resonates with you, you you knew what this was when I first showed it to you, right? And this is the nine of cups, getting back to center, manifesting again and waiting for that new beginning or there's something new you're working on after this rock down bottom situation of whatever happened in it. And, you know, 
I just can't help but feel you getting over the hurt and the pain of this Gemini. You letting it go to the past. You putting it to the wayside, to the back. You just like, you know what? I've been here before. It didn't work. But I just feel somebody also made you very upset though. But someone is or would like to come towards you and, and, and talk to you. And, of course, what happens now? They got to come in and got to apologize to you. Now they're seeing they're missing you. Now they're seeing that you were it, that somebody deceived or lied or they was trying to get away with something. They, they just didn't know who you were. And once they got in a relationship and knew who you were and know they wanted you, whatever they had been doing all the time, they didn't know how to get out of it to show up for you. Right? They just figured I'll just keep working it. Mm, Jim and I don't do that. Because now we're what? The two of cups. Back to balance. The yin and the yang. Back out there doing your thing. And definitely could be doing it singly, right? So let's clarify the the lovers here. I mean, the two of cups. <laughs> I don't know why I said the lovers. Maybe somebody new coming in, Jim and I. Well, you already. Any, you know your business. I'm not in your business out there, Gemini. <laughs> Gemini, like, I, I really don't, right? I mean, they all right. <laughs> I just like, like, they all right, but I'm not giving them a lot of my energy because I'm focusing on a lot right now. <laughs> okay, whatever, cool. Whatever, cool. <laughs> all right, Gemini. Yo, yin and yo, yang. What we talking about here? Yin and yang. How long y'all read? I'm going to give y'all some quick reads. Yin, yang. Oh, yeah. Communication come in. Yeah, that two of ones. I tell you, if I do a reading, Gemini, and the two of ones don't come up, I'm going to know you're on, uh, that, that whole phase. We're still going through a phase here. Because when you keep seeing the same two of ones, this is a new journey. This is heading in your direction. Some of y'all told you you weren't ready yet. You wasn't moving. You seen it. You made the choice to leave some behind, but you have not really actually engaged in that and got moving yet. And with the Page of Pentacles, this is new. This is fresh. This is a new idea, clarification of what it is you want to do, what you want to invest in, who you want to be around, how you want to do it. You know, you may be changing yourself up a little bit. This is like a, a fresh new beginning. So you may not be all the way out there yet, but you are manifesting. Please know that. At all times, you're manifesting. So be careful with what you what you are meditating on, how you're sitting in your space, because you are manifesting. And it's simple. You know who you are. It is, this is the creator. He created you to be this. Sovereignty, emotionally, um, able to love and cherish yourself and your own emotions. But he also created you to be able to take a love out and give it to others and help them heal. No doubt whatever situation it is that you're walking away from, even if you're a little pissed off, you know, that it has ricocheted something to either get them into a healing or the situation around them, okay? And then you're probably going to be moving forward because here we go again, the two of ones, and you're going to be communicating about that. And eventually, this is going to start moving real fast for you. Just so you know, it's about to get to moving really fast because you've made the decision, and I told you, some of you have not been moving. But now there's movement, communication coming in, and this is all about the balance. It is clarifying the overall, the balance. Let's get one more card. I don't know, I'm just calling to get one more card here, Gemini. I just hear the show is over. Close the curtain. <laughs> Gemini, you tell somebody the show is over. Close the curtain. Couldn't, couldn't get no five of pentacles. Show is over. Close the curtain. Oh my goodness. The show is over. Close the curtain. Turning your back to it, leaving something out in the cold. The show is over. Close the curtain. As I move forward. And again, hey, you was created. To continue to come back to center. You're coming back to center. And you're seeing something. Or the universe is sending in something that's about to get you moving. In this direction in which you see. Um, it is under the two of cups. Could be someone coming in to collaborate with you. Um, I'm also, the two of cups can represent the yin and the yang. But it also represents balance. Someone that's going to come in and maybe you're going to start working on a new project with somebody. That's going to be about balance and stability. Um, it could be, you know, a new business. It could just, I don't know, just come. And I also feel it just emotionally. Somebody there supporting you. Could be ancestors, loved ones. But it could be somebody that the universe is bringing in 
for you. And if this is the time you was thinking about, like the Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold from this situation, being disconnected from it, then the universe is going to have some movement in it. Information is coming in. And if you felt lack, like maybe in this situation you lost money, you had to separate things, you had to give away things, buy things, whatever it was, if you were invested in it. If you wasn't invested in it, you just may feel a void at this time. Like, okay, now what do I do? Now that I'm alone, now that I doesn't, you know, I don't have a relationship going on or whatever. You just may be in that space where you just like, what's next? And again, some of you not moving, but the information is going to be coming in soon. Um, and then the other one is, I heard, close the curtain because you're done dealing with that. And they're walking that way and you're facing your direction, right? This is the end of this circus act. <laughs> this is the end of this circus act. And the circus act could definitely be you, because Jim not you, you may have been performing in a circus that wasn't yours, right? But now that you out of the circus, you know, you out of it, it's like it came in, no, no more sitting in this circus. And so now you don't have you know, you don't have any performance to do. So you're uh, feeling a little left out. You're like, I don't got no, I don't have to perform today. I don't got to cook for them today. I don't have to look for their energy today. Their energy ain't looking for mine today. Hmm. What do I do now? What do I do now with all of this? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. You're not gonna look this, and this is not in a bad way. So it's not that you're being deceptive or deceiving. Listen, whoever this is, they brought this on themselves. This is the ten of swords, man. It's, they should have knew better than to try to juggle a Gemini, especially when it comes to their pinnacles or equal give and take or having other energies that was that should have never been involved or should have been recognized and released. Before you go running in on the Gemini, I'm just saying. I mean, if you ain't ready, you ain't ready. And you probably been better off, but you did. Seven of Swords is in reverse. You were thinking you could just get away with seeing that or doing that or showing up in some type of way, but the universe won't let it happen. The universe created them a Gemini. And the Gem if you have not seen created, the creator is the reading. I, I think I let it, I think I have it out already. If not, you got to look forward to seeing it. If you've seen it already, then you clearly understand this reading. But anyway, give me that. That is all I have for you guys. You see where you're at. You're moving forward. Information is coming in quick. If you've been feeling less, lack, void, whatever, that's about to be over. Someone's coming in to collaborate with you emotionally. And I, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, someone else. This is just you getting back to center, getting back to who you are, and focusing on your dreams and goals and just moving forward and accepting this loss. you accepting this loss. And the reason you accepted it, because now you know why you was created. <laughs> and you know, after a loss comes a new beginning. Love and light, Gemini. Give me a thumbs up on you guys' way out. Don't forget to comment below. Love you. Love and light.